Hi, this is DH Dunn, and I'm listening to the beautiful sounds of the long dark. But I've got to take these out because I have to ask myself a very simple question. Can I lope 10 days without sound? So we are going to get back into it. I think we were in uh, the house in Pleasant Valley, the farmhouse, I think. Yep. Maybe? I think so. <laughs> And uh, let's see, water situation is awesome. Hope everyone is having a good day today. It's about 7.50, it's 7.57 a.m. here on a Wednesday. Let's see, I found this maple syrup in an unusual location. I found broth for some freaking reason. Uh, I mean, we're hungry, but I don't know. How do I feel about that? I don't know. We've got more cooking pots than I know what to do with. Stupid <laughs> book. Why am I running around with this book? Got a hammer and a Mackinac. The game remembered who I am and gave me my Mackinac. We didn't cook these potatoes? What's wrong with me? What's wrong with me? Honestly. I asked yesterday's, uh, done. What the heck, man. Alright. But... No hacksaw. I feel like it's probably an aurora outside because it's all green. No, because the lights aren't on. Oh wait, the lights are on. I can't hear the like clicky click click. Well, this is nice. I could go downstairs and um, turn the radio on. Can't hear it. I don't turn it on. I'll look outside. See the pretty. Look at that. Very nice. Very pretty. What's it going on? This seems dumb. <laughs> this seems super dumb. Got some deer over there. I honestly am thinking about going to the barn because it's so clear and easy to see. And did I finish looting this? I'm not sure that I did. I don't know. I kind of figure I probably did. All right, enough goofing around. Um, match situation. Not good. Not good. We need to get to Pleasantville. Okay. So, I think probably the safest use of this time is to read. I will read for an hour if the Aurora allows it. And then I will uh, sleep again. Let's see, 0 0.5, do we have anywhere we we have red? No, okay. All I can think about is food. Okay, I got one hour. Two hours. It's a long Aurora. All right. We got two. I'll take it. Uh, let's sleep for two. It certainly would have been more dramatic and exciting to try to go to the barn in the Aurora, but, you know, I'm trying to succeed. I haven't actually successfully completed a Can I Lope uh, 10 days in a bit. Uh, I've had a couple. Let's okay, see. Anything right now. Contaminated. Didn't get that one done. Um, what was after Contaminated? That was around the holidays, wasn't it? Contaminated? I didn't do this drawer. Uh, Chef 2. I think I did... I uh, My second shot at Chef, I think I completed that. They all blur together, guys. I'm not gonna lie. Um, obviously, Clean Slate <laughs> was a no. <laughs> Holy cow. <laughs> Clean Slate was a no.
I should contact the Hobbit, see if we can uh, maybe arrange for another uh, another secret agent. That was a good one. Okay, well, I obviously didn't even come in here. Nope. Oh, that well fed. I didn't hear her complain. Eat some peaches. No, because of the cooking, you'll miss out on the cooking skill. Um, eat this terrible candy bar. It'll be fine. 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 Oh, thank God. Really, uh, want to do some more cooking, but I don't want to use a match. We should look and see if it's Maglan's weather. And did we fully loot the downstairs? We didn't grab these. We didn't do those. Okay, look outside. No. I'm gonna say no. This is not Maglen's weather. Oh boy. Okay, well we know we're gonna get matches down in um, Pleasantville. Just probably our our uh, our target from here. Sewing kit down there. Let's grab a little bit of cloth before I forget. Did I do this? No. Jeepers. What kind of operation are we running around here? Okay. This cup, by the way, says, um, published author. I have two of these. One says future bestseller, one says published author, both for my wife. Very kind. She gave that to me when uh, one more turn came out. Do, 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 do. Um, okay, we did this, we did this, we did this. Don't I have a... Yeah, it's got hardly any, any uh, juice left, though. I think I went down here. Yeah, because where else did I get the potatoes? Now, I could run to... I could do the cooking that I want to do. I could do that down in the bingo parlor. Yeah, okay, I've been down. And I could right now just focus on boogieing over to the barn... This whole, this whole hunger situation. Astrid is like... It's not Astrid, it's Will. I can't hear him. Um... No, um... Eat the chips. We got plenty of water. I just get nervous about eating low-conditioned food. Not this door, though. All right, thank you, uh, farmhouse. I'm sorry for anything I didn't see and didn't loot. <laughs> the wires. Honestly, wires. Well, this is terrible. But I can't hear it, so it's probably not that bad. Am I going the right way? Weird that it's like a blizzard you can kind of see through. Okay, not really. Um, no, I don't like this anymore. And I think I will wait. I'm 
coming back, farmhouse. Hey, is there a carcass over here? Yeah, I'm just, I'm glad I decided to head back. I'm so cold. I'm up again. Pop back in the, uh, porch here. Okay. Did I already have a pry bar? Yes. Drop that. Let's repair some clothes. This thing. Neither of these are great. I've never had double hockey shirts before. That's awesome. Alright, nobody's in the yellow now. That's good. So, can you drop those? I'm not going to use them. Okay. And if I repair these... <laughs> we may never know. <laughs> uh, are they better? Yes. They should be. Nope. Still going on. Jeepers. Alright, replenish the cloth. can't hear, so I don't know if it's over. Alright, it's over. Let's go. To be honest, I think... Uh, no, I would rather use a torch if I need one than a flare. I'll take that back. So we're gonna head... Uh, we're gonna quickly check the barn. Uh, we should be able to use that to warm up. Our clothing is good enough that I think we can warm up there. Uh, possible stim at the barn. And, uh, then we will head down to Pleasantville. We will do a, a good cook. Uh, get ourselves a good supply of food. Probably then, and we're gonna check, uh, that little park across the street from the bingo parlor for the, uh, hacksaw. Then we will check, um, oh, we've been to Sigma Hill. Okay, yeah, usually I haven't done Sigma Hill yet, but we have. So we will, we will head back to the farmhouse and head up to, um, uh, the plane crash. From the plane crash... Over the space capsule, space capsule to Morph Mountain. Probably not all that is today, <laughs> but that's the long term plan. Hopefully, we get a um, hacksaw so we can go go to the summit. I haven't done a summit run in a bit. What's up, low flying crows? Weird. They look like bats to me. They don't look like crows to me. Alright, I'm, I'm locked in on the uh, barn. You know I rarely go in the birch forest. Mostly because the bear. 
is there, and I find visibility in the forest to be hard. I'm just noticing it because it's such a cool feature. We have a lot of birch around us. We also have a lot of pine, oak, and um, maple. So we get a lot of variety in the fall. The birches usually go very yellow. The maple is the one that will go a whole bunch of different colors. Oranges and reds and, and yellows. And the maples are, are really the key to a pretty fall. Um, the oaks go late they go after everything else generally and they while they have a lot of different colors they generally don't go very vibrant so they're not that pretty even though i like oaks and then i i actually think the pines are great because they add this like green into everything it's really great i feel fortunate to live somewhere where i get this kind of pretty pretty show every year we also have a we have another one it's not elm i gotta look the leaf up can't feel my hands. Um, it looks like elm. The leaves do. Asp Aspen or ash? One or the other. Okay, I'm kind of shocked. I was not bothered on my way over here. So I'm glad to see them add more trees into the long dark. When they added the oak, I was happy. I'm gonna need to eat um, soon. So that we get the we get the pine, we get the birch, and we get the oak. Birch is not a very strong tree. They fall over a lot more than the other ones. We have a lot of wind here, and uh, we have a lot of birches come down. That's my, that's my tree talk. Thank you for coming to my tree talk. Right now, other than the pine, they're all just empty. No buds or signs of uh, spring on them yet. All right, we managed to get here without getting cold. What wonders will we uh, acquire here in the magical barn? Uh, so far, nothing. I could eat anything. Truck is a possible stim location. No, I don't care about the gas cap. Thank you, though. I say that uh, in that I have found it here. I don't mean to make some sort of expert statement. I have found the stem in the truck. That's all, that's all I'm saying. <laughs> I'm very worried about um, positioning myself or being interpreted as positioning myself as some kind of long dark expert because I am not that thing, and I have no intention of being that thing either. Um, I, I always like to get better at the game. Although my running joke has been that I'm proud of the fact that I've been able to do better at the game without getting better at the game. <laughs> I think that's, it sounds it sounds funny, so I like it. But it, I think what I mean no by that is, is that I don't... I haven't changed my play style that much, and yet I am now capable of... On a vanilla loper, I feel confident I can survive 10 days now. With no, you know, with no challenges, I should be able to do that, as long as I don't spawn in Blackrock. Um, or HRV. <laughs> so there's some conditions. There's this stem. But I still feel that I'm more of a reactive player rather than a planner. And I'm trying to use the Can I Lope series to to, you know, push me push me in, in you know, to grow skill-wise. Some of them make me plan. Some of them make me focus on things I don't focus on normally. And then, of course, having, having you guys. It's great because you guys... You know, encourage me, you remind me about where something might be. You <laughs> you give me the business when I miss something that I walked by three times. And hey, I should. That's going to teach me to look. One would think that would teach me to look. Okay, so we got the stem. I'm happy about that. 
that was mostly what I was hoping for here. I think I might read a book again for an hour just to warm up. It's later in the day than I'd like it to be because we lost so much time to that blizzard. All right, that should be sufficient. Okay, fog. Um, yeah, we'll go this way. Darkness at the break of noon. All right, wolves are over there. All I can think about is Which is food. good. I've never learned if there's like a finite number of wolves, like if each map has a set number of wolves that are, you know, kind of like bears, that are always there and it just, you know, modifies where they spawn. I've never seen an animal spawn. I've never seen it just op in. So I don't think they let that happen. I think um, they make them spawn, like if wherever you are, they won't spawn there. They might spawn nearby. Um, it could be that I've just never been, you know, ha-ha lucky enough to have a bear spawn right in front of me. Um, I think I remember Wands and Only saying that they had um, a moose despawn right in front of them from an aurora. But I think it was dead. No, if it was dead, it wouldn't have despawned. So I don't know. Yeah, I've never had a wolf just pop into existence right in front of me. That would be, oh my gosh. Terrifying. Now, what has happened is I have spawned in front of a wolf. There's that, there's a spot, um, not like directly in front of them. There's a spot in Ash Canyon where you can, I think... Might be Temporal Fountain. It's one of those where you can spawn pretty much where a wolf can aggro you almost immediately. And um, I think, well, how terrifying that must be for the wolf is the human just suddenly shows up. <laughs> Holy shit, no wonder they charge. I'm surprised they didn't run away. I think that's what a real wolf would do. As they have that um, disclaimer at the beginning of the game about, uh, you know, the behaviors of our wolves are not real wolves. Real, real wolves don't attack people. Um, I mean, I'm sure they do. Everything is always dramatized for uh, entertainment value. Welcome to the babbling portion of this, uh, <laughs> this long dark session. I'm getting more comfortable with the YouTube thing, which is good news and bad news, guys. Because as I get more comfortable... I tend to wander off verbally. And I think some people enjoy that and some people don't. Um, but, you know, you can only walk from the barn in, you know, PV to Pleasantville. You can only do that walk so many times and talk about the game. Like, there's just at some point, you're just like, you know what? We've done this walk before. We know what we're talking about here. And you just... You start to just just wander off. <laughs> now, I thought I'd see the church. There it is. Well, that's not the church, I don't think. But it's uh, a, a roof of some kind. What are you guys flying around? If it's a carcass, I might be into it. It is anything right now. I'm gonna say probably a carcass. I don't think there's a dead dude. Well, it might be if it's on the other side of this rock. At, I almost call it ash. No wonder you're so slow, Will. I've got I've got you carrying a ton of stuff. So pick up these sticks. There you go. Alright. Carcass or Dead guy. I'm gonna say dead guy. Uh, hey, it's a dead guy. Thank 
do for nothing, except for these feathers. Or feather. There's the other one. There we go. There we go. Whoa. Alright. Um... I mean, I'll check it. One of these days, the church is going to provide me with something. And I'm going to say, see, this is why I checked. Because, like, I have found the mag lens right here in uh, Mountain Town. So now I always got to check it. Someone had ketchup chips in church. I can't imagine. The priest is up there giving his sermon. Everybody's being nice and quiet. And somebody's in the back going, <laughs> crunch, crunch, crunch. I can't. It's pretty funny. When I was younger, I was an acolyte at church, which is kind of like an altar boy. And so I would have to sit up at the front of the church I would carry like the cross out you know in front of the procession or whatever it was and I had to light the candles and things and um, I learned a skill that has served me well to this day as I would sit in front of the entire congregation for about an hour and a half during church and all the sermons and the readings and all that stuff I learned to yawn with my mouth closed and it is a great skill to have. That has served me well in many a meeting <laughs> as an adult. Learning to yawn with your mouth closed is fantastic. Maybe that was, you know. I, I can't help it. I was a teenager, you know? It's uh, er, early teens? I was early teens, I think, when I was doing that. And, uh, um, you know, you get sleepy Sunday morning. Feels like a lot of gear. I mean, sure. But what's more, what's more weight, right, Will? What's more weight? Will can take it. <sighs> Come on. Come on. Um, okay, we can't stand up now. Really, I just want matches, I think. Matches and the hacksaw is kind of the only things on my uh, shopping list. We're pretty good other than that. I can't complain, but sometimes I still do. But life's been good to me so far. You know, we, we've gotten a lot of what you would need. On day five, we have hammer and we have got a Mackinac. We found mat enough matches to get us, you know, to this point where we're going to get more. Uh, all right, there's a cooking book in there, so I mean, there's no nothing better in there. Can't grab it from here. Damn it. Can you grab it from the front of the other side, in the driver's seat? No, you have. This isn't a Kirk Steven attention. This is another one you have to go in the back seat to get. Kirk, uh, one time it was a hacksaw too. Pointed out loot that I missed that could only be, I think, in my memory is, and it could only be retrieved from the back seat. Either that or he got it from the back seat. I don't remember. 
Okay, sometimes there's a hacksaw here. Peach B taught me this. Not this time. See, I always feel now like if you find something in a map, then it's guaranteed to be somewhere on that map. So like if I found a hacksaw there, that doesn't mean it will always be there, but somewhere in Pleasant Valley there's a hacksaw. I don't really want to go into that house right now because I'm already too heavy and I want to cook. So I want to go get my matches. Uh, eat those religious chips there. Church chips. been so hungry in my life. <laughs> I know, he's ridiculously overburdened. I gotta take a look at my recording time, too, see where we're at. This has been another... <laughs> another pulse-pounding episode. <laughs> Let's see. Dee, 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 dee. Uh oh, can't see. Um, yeah, go on. Ahead. Just be quick about it. Give me them oats. I want these, not as much as the matches, but definitely number two. Ah, oh, floor potatoes. So good. There they are. There you guys are. Here. Here. Check the lockers. I was leaning way forward there. I just realized. That'll come in handy. Um, probably not. I'm already over. <laughs> I'm already overweight, guys. I don't know that I need all these shoes. Carrots that I can probably eat right now. Potato, potato, potato. Okay. Uh, let's look at the shoes. I like the work boots. Yeah, no, let's just drop those. Things are bad enough already. Head over to the bingo parlor. We can't even sprint. We're so overburdened now. <laughs> oh, William, I'm sorry. If he's wheezing this entire time, I'm really sorry. <laughs> I'm very worried that he is. Why do I call it the bingo parlor? Because that's what it is. They play bingo here. It is a parlor. Therefore, bingo parlor. Oh no, it's all dark and stuff. Um, kick it open. Check recording time. Yeah, we have time for a good cook. Let's do it. Give me a torch. We'll get this going. Dun dun dun. Sure. I do think I might need to go get uh, an eye test right. here sometime soon. It's possible that my prescription has shifted a bit. I'm noticing that I'm leaning in a bit more. Okay. Give me... Porridge. Should have put the potatoes on first. Hang on. Back row potatoes. Because they freaking take forever. Back here. 
No. Okay, I thought I put the broth on. One more potato, I think. Okay, and then, yeah, do do five potatoes, and we'll just keep doing porridge on the open burner. Alright, our food troubles are over for a while. I just, I, it always makes me laugh picturing him cooking and eating all of this food. That's <laughs> like eating six uh, or five baked potatoes. Now we actually might be able to make, yeah, 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 there we go. Can we make, um, like a, a, oh, we could if we had any of these, right, if we had, we don't have enough broth, oh, no, 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 we do, um, if we had any of these, we could make that, okay, good to know, good to know, then you will, you know, just keep making porridge, man, I want cooking five, oh, crap, those, um, <laughs> those other potatoes, cook potato, there we go. the fire. How much water do we have? Decent. We are using a lot, though. This... Sh okay, not ready. Not ready. We go here and place this. Should be able to make pancakes. No? Yes. Both those porridges will finish while we're prepping. Okay, I was wrong. Um, make the peaches. I love a big cook. It's fun. Uh, yeah, do another potatoes. Do the rest of the potatoes so that we're not carrying them around. We got time. Do the, uh, the pork and beans back there. Pancakes are done. Eat them. We are full. Porridge is done. We have enough time on the stove. Let's maybe replenish some of our water. There's more water in the toilet, but um, just kind of a weird thing to say. <laughs> um, oh, we can't make yeah pies are at three. That's right. Um, kind of maybe want to hold back on some of my flour for pies. How, how much flour do I have? Hypothermia wouldn't kill me. Yeah, I think this is probably good. Uh, well, we could just make the water, and then we'll decide later about keeping it. <sighs> yeah, should be good. Let's grab the... that's done. Okay, potatoes. Let's see, 13 minutes left. Oh, we might want to add just like a stick to this, just so it's not dramatic. Okay, cooked potato, grab that. Cooked potato, grab that. Water. Grab it. Grab the pot. Grab it. Don't grab the pot. Grab it. Grab oh, this gear is slowing me down. Now that was a successful cook. Alright. Um, I kind of want torches, though. Even if they suck. Uh, 
Okay. Take it. Alright. Let's get a big sleep. I usually use this one, so let's use a different one. Let's use this one over by the kitchen. Probably smells nice over here. Okay, we'll loot this place tomorrow. Still didn't find the hacksaw. Uh, bit of a disappointment there, but what are you gonna do? Give me nine hours. We will take this save and we will see where we are at. Seven days. Pretty much on the button. And uh, yeah, so we will continue this tomorrow. We will look for, we'll continue the search for the hacksaw and uh, head towards, to slow make down. our way towards Timberwolf Mountain. And uh, we'll see where that goes. So that is going to do it for this one. Thank you very, very much for watching and hanging out with me today as I meander and babble through an admittedly more relaxed Can I Lope 10 days. It's all right. It can be cozy every now and then. And uh, I will be back tomorrow with more adventures in the long dark. Uh, that'll do it for this one. Thank you very much for watching. Stay safe. Take care of each other. And I will see you next time. Bye-bye.